Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to update the SQL Server 2022 and what are the things that we need to consider how we need to do R&D why uh, like is something why we need to upgrade the SQL Server is it necessary to upgrade the SQL Server to the latest cumulative pack and we will see all these discussions and okay what I have what uh, what the things that are going in the real time first of all uh, that's the SQL Server uh, he's having the latest to uh, cumulative update for this uh, like 2023-11-16 is cumulative update 10 okay you just click that and let's see other uh, our SQL Server is already having or not okay if you see how we can know this is um, just select update update version if you click execute here okay so I am having a R2, uh, RTM by default RTM 64 bit okay mm. so by default RTM edition is only there okay but uh, you can see that 160106 there is no update as of now still okay so directly we are going to upgrade uh, cumulative update okay so if you see here see uh, like you, you see that 16.06 and here also we are having uh, 1000.6 okay 64 bit SQL server now we are upgrading to the cumulative update so uh, right now so if you just click here and you can see so is it necessary we need one other things uh, uh, like that are there in the cumulative let's see that so if you see that so what it is saying that is SQL, uh, this update will make changes in SQL Server and as well as in Analysis Server. Okay, and uh, if you see, these, they, is there any known issues in this product as of now? No, it doesn't mean that there is no issues in the way. It will be there, but Microsoft has not yet identified what the for uh, as of now. Why? Because every company have different setup workload different kinds of applications and these applications may cause SQL issues in SQL server SQL server cause issues in that so uh, uh, they don't have that but uh, to some extent to some extent Microsoft has doesn't identified any issues in this cumulative update okay and what are the updates that are contained means okay here you can see that uh, totally how many have totally we are having uh, release uh, cumulative this update contains nine fixes okay so uh, these fixes contain in the nine updates that are issued in cumulative nine see what are the updates that is there in the cumulative nine uh, that the, they have fixed nine fixes in the uh, cumulative 10 now you can download the excel sheet to filter all these areas okay for example uh, let's assume that if I am uh, I am able to install this C CPU, uh, this uh, CU10 or not. Well, so for that, we can take a call like that. See, now SQL Server engine, all these components. So for example, uh, you are using column store future in the SQL Server. When you, you, you are using that future, you might get this uh, error when you are using read past query hint. Okay. So at that time, definitely you have to install this feature to avoid that error. And the SQL Server engine, something like sys availability, read scale availability. Okay, uh, like uh, I will tell you insufficient memory. So when the log reader agent, we have we are sub, when log reader agent always on when it is part of multi user, you are you are having that kind of combination that uh, that kind of combination then uh, you will get this error. For example, you uh, you, you are you are using table partitioning and when you are doing some DBC check DB, you uh, might get this error. So if you are falling in these errors, then you are then you must uh, install these features immediately okay so since there are no security updates but uh, we can take time to install this update okay so it is not like urgent basis we need to set uh, we need to test in, uh, main, in the test environment and based on the output we can so um, so we can avoid that kind of process why because these are all the secure futures updates okay so if we are not using these features so we can delay that process okay we can delay the updating the sql server or not or not an immediate basis that is what my intention is and it all depends upon you so
you can download this excel sheet so come here you can filter uh, this thing all okay so you can filter all these database engines and everything to see in detail what are the ex exact issues that you are see sql server sql server right so if you are not using anything uh, for example if you are have facing any issues regarding sql connectivity just like select that click s so for selecting sql uh, issues we are having this many issues okay from all these areas okay for example if you see that kb article are uh, 778 778 is there right now it is not there no problem mm, complete with, these are completely updates right no no not required i am looking for only 10 mm -hmm. not required this is okay you can download and filter those uh, website uh, those excel sheet and filter uh, as per your needs okay so coming down here uh, you can download this update here click on this link i am especially downloading for the sql server which are installed on windows os and you just click on that so it will get prompt okay to install the i'm already downloaded since that's the reason i cancelled it so what are the prerequisites that you need to do, install uh, this uh, SQL Server 10 is See, here we have the requirements any uh, like Windows 10 11 okay cumulative updates and the CPU 10 and everything okay so this I we are having 400 MB in size okay and in, if you see installation instructions and these are simple nothing I am just coming back to the um, normal page and this is for the like catalog windows from catalog this is for the linux so what are the prerequisites here we can see to update this cumulative value you must sql it mean sql server artificial edition is enough so what are the irrespective of 10 to if you are using one or two directly you can upgrade to 10 okay so prerequisites yeah, so every time so it's a basic fundamental thing that whenever you updated uh, sql server it's a best practice that you need to restart the, your pc and make sure the database is all available and inform to the application team it's a basic responsibility and best practice to avoid the issues in further so registry information it is not going to change anything okay so now if you come here so as usually how we go program go to the pro control panel program and features install updates and so that's how you can install this product okay so i have downloaded right so now uh, let's done the, done that okay now see i'm using the rtm edition now we are upgrading we are upgrading so first we need to uh, term, uh, we need to uh, i mean to say like um, terminate the connections stop the applications to the and we need to mention that why what means hello team we are proceeding with the obviously there will be patching window time okay uh, just wait so I will do this I'm having some issues some network plot so you can consider like this thing hello team uh, we are going to patch SQL Server 2022 to the uh, CU10 on Lenovo uh, for Len my default instance name. Okay, but default instance on uh, Lenovo PC as schedule in next 15 minutes please stop the application and please stop the application and provide confirmation so you can tag that application team dl and you need to write the windows team windows or our infra team take os level backup os level backup and let me know let us know 
so once we got this confirmation from both application team and everything then our job start now we need to take the all the use system database backup and user databases backup okay so once that is done then we are good to proceed okay so once it is done you have to the copy from network path to local path so this is the patch okay this is the say uh, this is the CU10 patch. Here you can see that uh, 400 MB. Now right click run as administrator. Click yes. See now it's all depends upon the infra team. In, in my my infrastructure doesn't have OS level backup kind of structure right so that's the reason then uh, our uh, user databases uh, user system databases backups are there so that's no problem so it's all depends upon your environment how you are going you how you are going to work in different kind of environment so here i am showing the best practices okay so so that uh, you if you have a only application team you can talk you can talk to the application team once application team is confirmed then you can directly take the user base backups and you can start that okay so then just uh, right click on that select uh, check the box and proceed to next 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 done so you have started initiation of SQL Server 2022 to the latest version 10. So here let's SQL Server updating MS SQL calculating servicing workflow. And this is all not required, but just for why? Because when experience grows, we need to know what the SQL Server is doing. Why? Because we have to think like database engine, right? So in one of the interview, like somebody asked me how you are going to configure always on. So at that time, whenever I got faced this question, I I internally think that like why uh, why they are asking this kind of question, L1 question to a eight years of experienced candidate. So when I said all this, okay, they said, okay, everything is good. So can you tell me what the the steps what the SQL Server is doing internally when you are configured the, at the last window like it is going to create a, uh, something taking the ba backups everything it will be there right way so that that the thing they highlighted so they said I said uh, I didn't remember but uh, they said that when you are experienced you need to know what exactly where it is going what every inch you have to know so so that's how I learned something okay when experience grows so you should know everything so okay let's wait uh, okay i will be in silent for uh, up to this installation get completed and we'll see that okay yeah so installation was successfully completed now at the time it is got completed right you have to take this snapshot okay like this you have done the snapshot and you just open the word document see in one while working you have to be like when you ever are or any successful message or anything whatever it would be okay so you have to be take care So I think hard pad as I think oh. so let know this I am having some license issues so that no problem so it is done now click on this link so now it is saying that like so initially request patch and successfully got 
passed okay so everything got passed right there so then it is not required just close the window and restart your uh, instance and uh, once the instance is up make sure that you have connected to the sql server and okay and that's the uh, once it is done and now you can execute the same window here see now rtm cumulative update 10 means we have successfully upgraded sql server to the latest patch so that is what uh, i want to show you so now you have to drop an email like how you just i just open I think due to sliding license issues, I think so. Oh, no problem. So once it is done, every you got an email and reply. For that, you have to click on reply all. Hello team. We have successfully successfully installed CU10 on Lenovo instance and restarted sql server and our sql server is up and running after restart all the databases are in online please find the snapshot and make and let us know let us know if if any issues you encounter and so page the page this screenshot and as well as how you connected this screenshot and make sure that you expanded this user databases and this screenshot as well so now you just take that uh, one screenshot okay and highlighted all this thing okay and all these user data uses simple nothing just one or two is enough okay so now you can you can see this okay and you can provide all these screenshots and you can drop an email and you can close the ticket and you can add 45 minutes uh, time for that if you have uh, time in that okay so i hope uh, you may like this uh, video and you just commented how your environment works and let me know so thank you Bye-bye for now.